Hi everyone, welcome to ETAPS 2015 Tutorial 2. In this tutorial, we will be discussing about three different topics. The first one is assigning the debt and live loads on our model. The second one is assigning the wall load. And after that, we will be discussing about different methods of meshing on a slab section. First, I would like to assign dead loads on my model. So before assigning the dead load, I would like to select similar stories from the story options. This is because my slabs are being defined along all similar stories. And after that, select the slabs where you want to assign your dead load. So here, I am going to assign a dead load of 1.5 kN per meter square along these slabs. And after making the selection, go to assign shell loads, select uniform. So here I am going to assign my dead load as a uniform distributed load. So the value I am going to assign is 1.5. Click on OK. And next I need to assign dead load for my staircase slab. So select the staircase slab. Go to assign and repeat the same step. And define a value of 5 kN per meter square and click on OK. And now go to the top story. So over here in this lab, I am having a water tank of a capacity of 10,000 liters. So here I have changed the value of liters to kilonewton and I am going to assign this load as a point load on these four joints. So before assigning or selecting the joints, select one story because I only need to assign my load over these four joints and select the joints, assign, go to join loads, select force and the force is being defined along the Z direction. So assign the load along force global Z. So I am giving a value of 25 kN. Okay. Now if you can see the 3D view, you can see that a point load of 25 kN has been assigned on the corners of this roof slab. And next I need to assign the live load or the inverse load. So let me go to the plan first. So to make my story options visible. Go to Assign and click on Clear Display of Assign. So my story option is visible right now. So change from one story to similar story. Now select the slabs where you want to assign your live load. So as this is a commercial building, I am assigning a live load of 5 kN per meter square on these selected slabs. Assign, go to Shell Loads, Uniform. And in load pattern name, select live load. And I'm going to assign a value of 5 kN per meter square. Click on OK. So now I need to assign a live load for my cantilever slab or my sunshade. So select the cantilever slab and repeat the same step that is go to assign shell loads uniform and assign a live load of 2 kN per meter square. And click on OK. So now you can see that a value has been assigned here. So I have finished assigning my dead loads and live loads on my slabs. In the case of wall load, there are two ways that you can define it in ETAPS. One is by using the draw wall option or assigning it as a uniformly distributed load on the desired frame line. But here, I prefer the second option because you can assign the desired wall load as UDL and it is much more better flexible option. So to define the wall load or the masonry load, go to define, select load patterns. So here I am going to define a new load pattern for my masonry load. So under load, I am going to name it as masonry. I am selecting the type from the drop down as super dead. And after making these changes, click on add new load. So now you can see 
a new load pattern has been assigned and after that click OK and next select the frame lines where you want to assign your masonry load and after you are done with the selection go to assign frame loads select the distributed load and change the load pattern name from dead to the newly assigned load pattern that is masonry and in uniform load I have manually calculated my masonry load and that is 12 kN per meter and I click on apply ok so here you can see that a masonry load of 12 kN per meter has been assigned on the selected frame lines so if you want to see the 3D view you can see that my masonry load has been assigned on the similar stories that is story 1, story 2 and story 3. And you can adopt the same thing on any other frame lines where you want to assign your masonry load. Here in this model, I have assigned my floor slabs as membrane type. So when you assign your slab with membrane property, Whatever load applied on the slab gets distributed to the surrounding beams. So here I will be having a stiffer beam compared to a beam that is adjacent to a shell slab. So now let's discuss about the meshing of a slab. In the case of membrane slab, especially with irregular shapes, it is a good practice to shell the slab so that the load distribution will be more accurate. But in ETAP 2015, there are two ways that you can mesh a slab. One is a manual meshing, and the second one is an automatic meshing. First, I would like to explain the manual meshing. So here I am selecting the slab which I want to mesh manually and then go to edit after making the selection and select edit shells and go to divide shell and in this dialog box select the third option that is divide quadrilaterals or triangles into and here I need to mesh my selected slab by 10 by 10 areas which means that along x axis the slab is getting divided by 10 and along y axis it's getting divided by 10 areas and after assigning the values select apply and click on ok so now you can see that the selected slab is being meshed according to the assigned values that is 10 by 10 areas so here if you want to see the distribution of load go to display load assigns shell apply so here you can see that the load of 1.5 kN per meter square is being assigned to each meshed areas and next I would like to explain the automatic meshing the automatic meshing comes into great advantage in the case of irregular slab because here in this irregular slab it is not possible to go for manual meshing so I have to go for automatic machine in the case of this, this and this lab. So for time being, I will explain the automatic machine with this irregular slab. So after making the selection, go to assign shell and select the floor auto mesh options. And in this dialog box, select the fourth option that is mesh object into. So here I am going to give 10 by 10 areas as my values and I click on apply ok so now my regular slab is being meshed by 10 into 10 areas so similarly you can do the same with the below 2 irregular slab and also you can offer manual or automatic machine on the other adjacent slabs also so here I have meshed my all floor slabs by using the automatic meshing method and now you can see the cantilever slab with yellow color. I have assigned the slab property of these two cantilever slabs as shell. So if you are assigning a slab property as shell you don't have to mesh it because when you go to analysis a shell slab gets automatically meshed. So don't waste your time meshing it because the results will be almost same. And this property of automatic meshing of shell slab is only applicable in ETAPS 2015. If you are using the previous version of ETAPS, it is mandatory that you have to 
mesh as shell slabs. Only then a proper load distribution will take place. And this comes to the end of the second tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we will be discussing about the assigning of the seismic loads and also about how to analyze an ETAPS 2015 model.